Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. Um, spring season is well underway, but we're going to get into post-emergent spring here in the next few weeks. So we just thought we'd give you a quick reminder. When you're working with your sprayer, we want to make sure that we clean these filters on a regular basis. These are your two main filters. Um, a lot of sprayers have this style of a setup or they may have something different. A quick way to do a daily cleaning on these ones is when you're when you're adding water, um, you can just simply open up this little tap here and it will actually allow water to flush past the exterior of the filter and rinse it off quickly. The other thing is, is especially when changing chemicals, but, but even once a day is a good idea to open these things up and rinse that screen and put them back in. Um, it takes a few minutes, but it's time well spent. Most sprayers now are not running any kind of, of a screen in the nozzle tips themselves. And so to maintain these couple of filters and maybe the filter on your water tender on a regular basis will just save you a lot of time with plug nozzles. On the subject of plug nozzles, um, we get a lot of a lot of questions at the parts counter about how to clean nozzles. You don't necessarily have to buy the fancy little brushes that everyone sells, um, although they do work well because the, the one brush, it has just a, a single row of bristles that you can use. One thing you don't want to do with a lot of the tips is to use a wire brush to clean them. We've, we've heard that comment before. Uh, if you use a wire brush to clean them, a lot of the tips are made out of different polymers and they don't have any kind of steel insert in them. And what that does is it scratches that polymer and then it screws up your spray pattern and it actually will cause the tip to plug a lot easier. So just make sure that you're using soap and water, of course some gloves, um, a little compressed air doesn't hurt. Um, if you're in the field, of course, you probably the easiest thing to do is just replace it with a spare tip and then clean them when you're back in the yard. Um, whatever you do, not your lips up against the tip because some of those chemicals, uh, they have a tendency to not do good things with your lips. So yeah, hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.